29 protesters have been arrested after Friday's anti-GST rally for unlawful assembly and possessing explosives. Kuala Lumpur CID Chief Senior Assistant Commissioner Zainuddin Ahmad says the city police rounded up the protesters two hours after the rally, which ended in the city at about 5.30pm. He says police seized smoke bombs from them. The detainees were held at the city police headquarters in Jalan Hang Tua before being sent to the Dang Wangi police station at about 10.30pm. Besides the 29 protesters, police have also summoned political leaders and social activists for questioning. They included Datuk Ambiga Srini Vasan, Party Socialist Malaysia Secretary General S. Aru Chavan, DAP National Organising Secretary Anthony Lok, PKR Vice President Tian Chua and Jinga 12 Coordinator Faris Musa. You see, after the media event, I called the DSP Gurbinder. He's the public order in charge. He said that everything went on very well. Everything was okay, fine. He thanked us for what happened today. So, I was quite uh, amazed that they want to make the arrest. Lah. We had already had negotiation with the police. And uh, we did not, uh, Dataran was closed, KLCC was also closed. The rally did not happen in both these places. That was the only condition of the police. I, mean, I don't understand what, what is the rush. I mean, we are here to stay. I mean, if they want to investigate, they want to take our statements. I mean, always, we are always prepared to give our cooperation and uh, we can always come back after the public holiday, uh, either on Monday or Tuesday. What's the rush? It's very obvious that the police are under pressure to take action, to harass uh, those who took, took part in the rally. About 50 supporters gathered outside the police station, awaiting the release of the detainees. Ambiga, Erichoven and Lok were then sent to the Jinjiang lockup, and police will seek a remand for them on Saturday.